this piece. Oh. Okay, paint's off. Got some dents. Dent here, here, here. Looks like they filled it with lead. Dent here. I got a split right here. I need to weld closed. Uh, and then this whole bottom's just rotten. Lucky for me, I got this. Closely lined up, and then come down to here, and it's off just a smidge. So I'm going to have to straighten one of these ends out and re-bend it, but I don't want to do that here because it's probably not going to look real good. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'll make the adjustment on this side since this corner this end will be the one that's more commonly seen what you up to uh, huh i said nothing nothing uh, I'm on my bike. yeah i'll get it out there
Okay, hammered that nice and flat so I can bend it at a new spot. I'm not really sure how to go about this. I might end up just bending this where I think it needs to be, tack it on there, stick it up onto the truck and see if it fits in the gap. But in order for me to check that, this piece needs to be folded over. So I think I'll fold these over, but leave a big enough gap to slide the metal. So I'm gonna have to basically fold it over, but be able to slide one of these inside of it. So I've got that piece in, tucked inside, that folded over piece. It's lined up pretty close. And if I come down here, basically you need to fold it over where that black mark is. better it's pretty close it kind of comes out and then back in so I'm gonna have to hammer that down a little bit when I fold it over but at least it's the right length now so that's good easy fix I gotta go get milk for mashed potatoes. And then I'll, well, I'll probably call it a night. So I'm not gonna go get cleaned up for dinner and then come back out here and get all dirty again. So I'll continue this tomorrow. try to clean as much of the gunk out of there as I can.
I got the bottom part tacked in and now I'm gonna do one more test fit make sure everything looks good before I weld it all the way in Okay with this. Okay, bottoms in, mostly. I just need to cap off this corner. I'm sure I got a piece of metal that'll fit that in here somewhere. Got lots of scraps. Now the original bottom had like a little step here. It came up here, came up, stepped to match up with the steps right here. So I'm kind of skipping that step, but I think it'll be fine. I'm not trying to build an airtight sound proof interior here. And this metal is significantly thicker than this metal. So I think whatever structural strength those steps may have created, I'm uh, making up for it with the thickness of this metal, I think. <laughs> Let's cap this off. Okay, it's all welded in on the back, welded in on the front. Still haven't ground down and finished it nice yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this. And then at some point I need to take a bend out of this. It kinda, I don't know if you can see it, but it kinda dips down like this. And it actually makes contact with the rocker when I close it you can see where it hits right there in the middle so that's what's holding me up on a good nice clean close so I'll try to take that little bend out of it and straighten that out and then this door should close nice and straight and then I'll move on to the next one Not very good at this whole YouTube thing.
Tumbleweed Garage.